Hello darlings, and welcome back to San My Shuno. We are at a new apartment today, 2A Jasmine Suites. Home to three university students, Giovanni, Ada, and Percy, who all attend Foxbury University. Giovanni is studying communications, but would rather be studying his performance in the bedroom. Ada is studying drama and dreams of being on the big screen one day. And Percy is studying computer science and would like you to stay the hell out of his room. Their shared accommodation is not the prettiest of places. So let's get to it and start furnishing. Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to a brand new household, my loves. I'm going to pause it so they don't start yapping around while I'm trying to explain things. P Percy's face, though. Percy looks absolutely fuming about something, and he's always fuming about something. More on that at 11. So, these, I really wanted a collection of uni, fr not so much, I'm going to say they're housemates. I wouldn't say they hang out with each other, kind of outside their living spaces. They all study completely different things. They don't really have the same friendship groups and stuff in university, but I wanted them all to live together. And I mean, that happens a lot day-to-day -day life with uni students and whatnot so i really wanted to portray that and these are the characters that i came up with these two wonderful souls here i actually created on twitch last night um i will leave a link down below to that video if you do want to go and see how we came about making these wonderful sims um i'm especially in love with ada i think she is absolutely stunning um, and I'm kind of in love with her, and I am a gay. As is she, by the way, but more on that at 11. We're going to start off with the wonderful Giovanni. So Giovanni is Italian. He comes from Italy, funnily enough, being Italian. His parents sent, sent him over here to try and just push him out the nest a little bit. He's kind of relied on his mum and dad's money quite a bit. We've kind of said that his mum is a fashion designer. And yeah. They wanted him to just kind of go away, make his own life in a new place. And they paid for his university degree and tried to kind of like just set him up on his own. Now, he doesn't really take uni very seriously. He's not that into it. He's more into females. He is a bit of a, you could say, a Don Lothario of our save file. Um, a beautiful sim, as um, you can uh, you can definitely see. I've made him a serial romantic, but maybe there's going to be someone down the line who just he knows is the one, and that's going to be the girl for him. Whether or not he will stay faithful, only time will tell with Giovanni. Now, I've made him study communications, but I really wanted him to study some kind of like sporting degree. Um, but there was none to pick from in The Sims 4. So communications was the best thing that I could think for him. He doesn't really like it anyway. So that's why we're going to go with it. Yes, we are indeed. Giovanni, welcome to the household. You absolute beautiful, beautiful man. Now we're moving on to the wonderful Ada. So Ada, as you can see, is an absolute babe. As I said, she is gay. So she's very much interested in looking for ladies. Now, I reckon there is a kind of like rivalry, not a massive like hate-filled rivalry between these two. It's a bit of fun. Ada's got more respect for women than what Giovanni has. Giovanni has, but he's more looking to kind of go in for the kill and kind of get those counts up on his bedpost. Do you know what I mean? Whereas Ada's kind of like out there looking for somebody that she wants to share a life with. And I'm absolutely vibing. Now, as I said, she really wants to be an actress. She has, she's got her sight set on it. She's absolutely amazing. Her skills are really high up in acting as well. Um, so she's at university studying drama at the minute. Now, I definitely see all of these lot being in their like young 20s. So maybe, I don't know, 21-ish around that kind of mark. Maybe they're just coming to the end of their university degrees. That's what I'm kind of feeling. Um, but I'm absolutely for her. Now, she does love a bit of a party, does our Ada. So she is out on the town quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to definitely make her have quite a big friendship group. So I'm just going to make that apparent with this character. Um, but I love her. Absolutely love her. I think she's beautiful. They're all in their winter gear at the minute, so it's not the main outfits that I've picked out for them. But um, yeah, I'm I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. And this soul here is Percy. So Percy. 
What do we have to say about Percy? Percy likes to be left alone for starters. I've made him alone as him. He's definitely a bit of a nerd. He's into all things geek fandom, the lot. His going out outfit is a Star Wars uniform. Can't remember which one, so I'm not going to bother and try and say which one it is. Um, he's a bit of a slob as well. He's a bit of a slob. He's not so much a slob, actually. He's just very, very lazy. He likes to be sat in his desk chair, not doing much apart from programming, gaming, streaming, all of that kind of good stuff. Now, he doesn't really pay attention to these too much. Even though Giovanni and Percy will be sharing a room, they just don't have anything in common whatsoever. So they tend to just stay out of each other's business and um, <laughs> it's his face for me and not the Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. I can't look at those glasses anymore without thinking of that, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, Percy is definitely, he's going to be on the road to making some money. You could even say he probably might be a billionaire in kind of later life. You know where I'm going with that kind of thing. I've made him quite good friends with Isan as well, because Isan is obviously in the tech field. And I really thought maybe he admires what Isan has like created and whatnot. And maybe he could get like an internship or even a job after university once Isan has started up his tech company. Kind of feeling that kind of vibe from them. So I kind of like that I've made them to a little bit more... Um, acquaintances to be honest with you but as always guys keep get your stories in what do you see happening between these three i really want this to come together collectively as a community i'm going to be picking some best comments tomorrow um and putting them up on the screen for storylines with these three I, I like the differing characters i like that they all live together in this one space and the bad thing about the space is it's not the most attractive loves i'm going to show you around the place now um, and this is it. So you obviously you come in through this entrance here. There's a small toilet here. I really wanted a small toilet, so or bathroom. So they kind of like I can imagine them like fighting over like bathroom times. Not so much Percy. Percy hasn't got the best of hygiene, I would definitely say. But I reckon Ada and Giovanni are on kind of you know they're they're competing for bathroom time, and they'd both take the piss as well. I kind of feel that for them. Now this is going to be a dining room kitchen and living area it's going to be a mismatch this is what we're going to be furnishing today by the way all of the well this whole bit here um a kind of mismatch of different things stuff that they've picked up from like flea markets maybe or just what the landlord's got and put it there uh kind of feeling that there is a little cupboard here as well there's that like a little electrical box and i didn't really didn't really want that to be on show in the living area so i've made it into like a little cupboard i might do like some shelves and make this a bit of a storage cupboard uh, might put a hoover and stuff in there as well. But that's what we're going to be doing. Now, over to this way. This is going to be Ada's room. Ada has got her own bedroom. And then Giovanni and Percy are going to be sharing this one here. Now, I did try and put an extra window on here with the tool mod. But for some reason, it just didn't work properly. It was glitching out on the back and side. So I'm sorry, Ada, my love. I do adore you dearly, but you're only going to be having one bathroom as well. Now, before we move on and go into the build modes, I thought you would like to see their skills. So if you want to pause and have a look at their skills, then you're more than bloody welcome. Um, this, these are Ada's skills. So she's quite high up in a lot of things. Um, I've made her the highest in acting because she's absolutely incredible. Uh, Percy's skills, high up in archaeology. Um, all the program researching, video gaming, the lot, even the vampire laws are really high as well. He kind of like delves into a project and researches the absolute shit out of it until he knows absolutely everything. That is the vibe we're going for. And then Giovanni, charisma up to 10. He's got to have some kind of charisma to get all these ladies in bed with him, even though they all know he's a bit of a tool, a little bit of a ladies man. Um, they can't help but fall in love with him because he's gorgeous, you know, and he's very he's quite hard and cooking as well. I thought that was quite in his family. I've I've got Italian friends. I know that how much they love to cook and I know how big it is in their culture. So I thought I'd make that high as well. But these are the rest of them. Lots of like activities, like physical activities are quite high for Giovanni. Um, but yeah, absolutely for it, my loves. There is nothing more to say. Let's get into the build mode and let's furnish up the kitchen, dining and living area. Let's make a start on the kitchen area. So this is a student household. It's not going to be the most top spec of anything. Everything's going to be a little bit semi-dated, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know if I want to go for this kind of vibe in here. I don't think I'm going to go for like the battered ones. Maybe we could go for this in here, you know? 
as I said as well, it's not going to be the most attractive of places whatsoever. But I, I'm going to have fun doing this. I like doing these kind of grody-esque apartments. I really do. Once we get into the bedrooms, we can start putting a bit more personality with like posters and maybe like a painted wall here and there or something. Maybe the landlord was just like, do you know what? Go ahead. Um, and I'm going to be getting that, get into that tomorrow because we will be bringing out another part. Let's build the worlds tomorrow. Uh, and then next week, we're going to get balls deep, darlings, into um, some more like creative um, challenge videos and stuff for, for the new year. You know, I'm vibing with that. I'm going to do an island there, I think. Uh, it kind of takes the point of having this as a dining room, though. But I don't really mind that. Maybe we can have that as a bit of a like a games area or something. I mean, they don't really spend much time together, though. Oh, well, we'll think about it in a bit. Oh, do you know what, though? I'm going to be putting a fridge there. I've just thought about that. Um, do you know what? I might have to shorten this island down. Maybe I could just do two like that and have it open there. Oh, I kind of hate how that ends on that piece, though. So I think what I'm going to do is put that end piece there instead. Yeah, because we could do one, one, two, and three chairs there. And then I can still get the fridge in there quite nicely. Oh, yes. And then another one here. Oh, you breast. Maybe I'll need to, like, flop this over a little bit more to that side then. I did, No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I didn't really think about that. I thought that would have been the perfect, like, edge to finish that island on. <sighs> yeah, I think that would be weird. We'll just keep it like that. It's fine. We're moving on. I'm being fussy. I'm being a fussy bitch. Right. Oven. Um, I'm thinking about just using one of these. Maybe not in this colour. Maybe we could go for a white one. Just an old style oven. I don't imagine many of them, apart from Giovanni, cook that often. I reckon Ada eats out a lot. And I reckon Percy eats pot noodles. <laughs> he lives on ramen. He absolutely just lives on ramen. Yeah, I'm for that. Okay, right. And then a little fridge here. A little cheeky fridge. And we'll do a microwave. We'll get a microwave in this lot as well. And maybe some coffee. I think um, uni students and coffee are a go-to together. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to flop you to there. Gorgeous. Now... I mean, if that oven door was open, you won't be able to open the fridge. But, you know, landlords don't think about that. Landlords just think about making money, my darlings. That is what landlords think about. All right, I'm going to put you to there as well. Yes, yeah, stunning. Okay. Right, we're going to use the same cupboards as well. Um, These ones here. Is it this one? I think it is. Yes. And then I'm going to flop them to that height there. Do I want to do like a little corner moment over there? I think I do. And then I'll finish it off here with an, a cheeky little end piece. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. And then I'm going to flop you up to there, my love. Is that still too high? It is a little bit, isn't it? Let's bring them down a bit. It's so hard to tell when you've got a tall wall height. What is the right height? Oh, you piece of shit. Um, I might... I've got itchy palms. What does that mean? What does itchy palms mean? Both of them. I don't know, but I'm itching it on my mouse, Matt. Anyway. um, <laughs> What was I saying? I was saying something. No idea what it was, but I was definitely saying something. Uh, I'm going to flop you to there. I'm going to put the bin next to the fridge. I think the bin would fit in quite um, semi-okay there, to be honest with you. And I think what I'm going to do is just use one of these, like, yeah, in a green. There we go. And I'll flop it right to the edge there. I might be able to scoot you in a bit more, actually, my love. Oh, gorgeous. Yes. And then here, I want to do an extractor. But I don't really want it to look... Too, do you know what? This one here would work. I was going to say too old, but you know, we're going for a dated kitchen, so why not go for a dated uh, extractor as well, you know? Do I want to... Mm, I'm going to try something. Do Because I liked that corner piece on that side. Do I want to do this? I think I do, because then what I could do is put the end piece above the sink area. Yes, that's better. <laughs> I'm for that. I'm absolutely for it. Okay, so we've got... We'll keep that space free there. I think... Ooh, can I put a microwave in this corner? Or would that be... A, I might have to put it over in that corner. That's if... The, do microwaves fit on a... Oh, they do on a jante. Oh, there we go. We're going to use that old battered one. Because I absolutely hate it. And it looks like it smells. Yeah, let's do that one. I might even just change that to white though. Just so it matches in with the other appliances. Yeah, cool. Okay. 
Uh, we're going to do some barstools. We're going to do some barstools. I want the barstools to look a little bit... Not... Well, yeah, cheap, to be honest with you. So maybe even these ones. I mean, these are gopping. But... Oh, maybe these. I never use these. And I really don't like them. Do you know what? I might put... Yeah, in the yellow as well. One, two. These fit there. That should be absolutely fine. They should be able to get around everywhere there. Quite easily. But as I said, it's kind of taken away... The fact of them having a dining table but do you know what maybe the dining room tables for some of them to study and stuff on they've all got laptops as well i'm gonna give percy a laptop and a desktop i just think that would work well they've also all got um part-time jobs as well uh giovanni is a lifeguard uh, ada works in retail and i'm gonna say she's on the kind of makeup counter she's very much into makeup as well we kind of had this idea on stream um yesterday that she wants to like study like sort of drama school makeup as well kind of feeling that vibe for her very much feeling it and percy streams he's a streamer from at home but he also makes like mods and stuff and gets paid for that kind of thing so he's very good at programming uh we need a table and i'm just here yabbering on about absolute shit so let me find a nice or actually a shit dining room table. Let's go for this one here from Werewolves because it's got that book holding up the leg. <laughs> I just think that would be a vibe in here. Yes, I'm going to flop you to... No, I'm going to keep you there actually because there's a door here and I need that to open quite nicely. And just some plain chairs. I mean, I'm not going to do them all mismatched and stuff, but just some plain chairs. Maybe even chairs that look like they've been in a school or something. Like the ones that came with uh, the high scope pack. High scope? What is a high scope? Yeah, we're going to use these ones. The ones that are a bit battered as well. I'm going to do four of these around this dining area. I think that would work. Oh, yeah. I can smell this place as well. Do you know what I mean? It's good. It's, good. it's definitely going to have some kind of funky smell to it. Musty. Like, no, like nothing has been like hoovered in a very long time. Like that kind of smell. And I've never really noticed these carpets. But what is that? I think you all know where my brain's going with that um, stain on the carpet there. Um, and I'm not saying anything further. You lot are going to be saying it because you lot are filthy bitches. And that is why, my loves, we are such a great community here. Yes, we are. So, I need a sofa. I think we'll do one sofa and one armchair. We can put the TV like smack bang in the middle here. I'm not going to do the biggest of TVs, I don't think. Definitely going to put a games console out here. Uh, so I need to pick a sofa and I also need to pick some curtains. So let me grab a few of those bits out and we'll flop them around together. We've gone for these blinds from the My First Pet <coughs> stuff pack. Um, the only good thing that came out of that pack as far as I'm concerned. I used the bigger ones here, but I had to size them down a little bit because they were just a little bit too long so i used the tool mod to do that uh, i'm gonna use this sofa i'm gonna use this sofa i think it's a base game sofa are you base game the hipster hugger it is but i think you get it unlocked at level five of the tech guru career why would you get that if you like i have no idea i don't understand these rewards sometimes i really don't so i'm gonna put that one there as i said i would like another armchair in here but i don't know if it's gonna i don't know if it's gonna fit properly because I want to do a TV here. I could maybe do one in the corner. I'm going to put like an old style lamp and stuff in here as well. And we haven't picked the lighting. So we'll do that too. So as I said, I do want a TV in this room. Uh, I don't really want to go ahead and use... Because I always use this one. I'm going to use this one here, I think. Uh, do we have any other... No. <laughs> no. I forget about the swatches from that one. No, we don't. We'll go for that one there. That's fine. That fits in quite nicely. And as I said, I don't want the biggest of TVs. I'm going to do this like little flat screen. This little flat screen number with um, a console. I reckon this is Percy's, but he just lets everybody else use it. He's not too worried about that. He's got his PC. He's definitely more of a PC gamer. It's definitely a bit more of a PC gamer snob is our Percy. Um, and yeah, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Now I'm looking at this. Could I put a chair here? I mean, what's the point? You know what I mean? What is the point? We could actually fill that space with a coffee table instead. I might even be able to just drag this back a little bit further. Bring that back a little bit further there so they can still get around everywhere. That should be fine. And then that will give me enough room here to put a coffee table in. Uh, if you can hear snoring in the background, I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not, but that is my little blue. 
he's having a lovely time and I'm not waking him up to tell him to, to tell him to stop snoring because he's precious, you know? And he's doing much better, by the way. If any, I knew a few of you guys were wondering on stream last night, so I thought I'd let you know. Um, on YouTube, he's doing better. He's still on his medication at the minute. Um, he goes back in next week to get evaluated. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. We'll go from there, but no more seizures, no more nothing. So that's that's good news. Very, very, very good news. Yes. Yeah, we'll go for that coffee table there. I think that would be absolutely fine. An old, an old school coffee table. I might even put a rug in this room as well, just to protect the landlord's carpets. Cover up the cum stains more like, darling. Did I, I just said it. I said it. Well, you know where my mind was anyway. I don't need to explain, do I really? So, I, I, I wanted like an old rug in here. That one's a bit big. I might size it down though. Um, <laughs> it's so disgusting. But as I said, we're not furnishing this for beauty. We're furnishing this for storylines. Not that colour, though. I think they would probably go for a bit more of a... Oh, yeah, brown. A definite brown. No plants or anything in this house. They do not. They will be dead in two seconds. That is absolutely not um, happening. Do you want to get stereo in here, though? I've made this, if you wonder about the traits as well for this place, I've made it. Can you see this? You can. Party place, fast internet, and a study spot. But I think maybe this could be Giovanni's. Or it could be even Ada's, to be honest with you. She's into music as well. She's very good at singing too. She's an all-rounder as our Ada. Maybe when they've got like mates over from uni and stuff, you can blast a bit of music and have a good old, a good old dance of into that idea wouldn't mind oh, i would love to get a bar in here and i know um about the globe bar but i just bloody hate it i absolutely hate it i just wish we had a really small bar like this where they could do all of the things that they do on a bar but just on like a one tile um you know thing but we can't wondering oh, can i squeeze this in somehow <laughs> no no, we can't. Oh, I kind of wanted to get a bar in here now that that's in my head. Mm, I'm not going to use that globe, though. Maybe I'll just do like a makeshift bar and make it look like a bar. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Let me grab a few bits and we'll see what we'll come up with. This is what I did. Use this little unit here. And then what I did is just go in, went into debug and pulled out loads of cans and bottles and stuff. Now, I don't know about you, but I've noticed in some of the university digs in my home city, because um, we... we we're quite a big university city here in Plymouth. All the students always put up like their empty drink bowls in the windows. I don't know what that is about, but I thought I'd make it here as well. So those are empties and these are all like cheap plonk from like um, the pa and pound land. What do you call it in America actually? The dollar store. They're all, they're all, <laughs> they're all, they're all um, cheap. Yeah, bottles of plonk. That is what it is. And what all of this is down here is old bits of sick my loves from where i'm sorry i'm sorry but it is from where their friends have just and they've just not bothered to clean it off the carpet that is the storyline and we are sticking with it yes it is so i don't know what else to put in here i don't know what else to put in this room just yet i definitely want to make it a little bit more messier and i definitely want some like clutter and stuff out up on the tables and things but i'll need to go and debug to get that out something up on the wall here maybe this like old style clock that's not going to go up there, is it? No. Are you too small? Can I size you down? Oh, no, because the thing's animated, isn't it? So maybe we just need a normal style clock up there. We'll go for the apple. The white apple clock. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll plop it up to there like that. Beautiful. And I've just realised this clock here has got, like, numbers on it. And the others haven't. Are numbers a thing in The Sims? I thought it would have been in Simlish, personally. But, you know, that's just me. That is just me. I think what I want to do down here is the magazine and remote holder. And I want to get a few more bits for the table and also a lamp. I do want to put a lamp around here somewhere. So let me grab those as well. Okay, so lamp. I put a lamp down there. I put the TV like and remote holder over there. Messed up the table a bit. These plates will definitely be cleaned away um, because that's what, just what happens with The Sims. Some dirty cups. One of Giovanni's hats. I reckon this is like a little maybe notebook for Ada with all of her like class times and whatnot. 
remote, some empty cups, a sports bottle here, some papers, some more like just just crap. Crap everywhere, to be honest with you, loves. I also pulled out this little thing here. I just think that looks cute because it's like a little study thing um, of like, you know, textbooks and whatnot. And I reckon like a, a board of all of the things that they've got to remember and like, can you please, when you go to the shop, can you please get some milk? And make sure it's soil milk for me. Um, that kind of vibe. I also pulled out some like pots and pans and stuff over here. Because this is a uni house, I am going to put up a fire extinguisher. I'm going to put up a fire extinguisher here. We also need to do a smoke alarm because, you know, we don't want them to burn down really, do we? So I might put it, I'll put it like up here of the door. Yes. And what I've also done in this cupboard is put in the sprinkler system as well, just in case anything does happen. So what I'm going to do is just move that door slightly over this way so it's a bit more central. And then that cupboard can just basically be electronics and whatnot. And I think what I'm going to do is just put a little shelf up in here. Maybe the shelves from Laundry Day or something, because they come with stuff already on them, don't they? So maybe that would work in here um, if I can find them. No idea if I can. I was thinking like this, but that, that's going to like take up that whole space. And the door would not open, would it? Would it? You know what? We're not doing any shelves in there. That's just what it's going to be. I'm definitely going to do a vacuum. Though. I'll put a vacuum in here. Um, vacuum and misc appliances. And I'm going to give them one of the old bag ones. There we go. Flop you down to there, my love. And then if they... I, I doubt that gets used very much. So what I'm actually going to do is um, put on a cobweb. <laughs> just to make it look like it just... It never gets used. So I'm going to put the cobweb there. <laughs> Cobweb over that, over the actual vacuum itself. I also pulled out a keg. I hate the size of these things. I had to put it in the hallway. So this is where they come and have a good old knees up in the hallway. I'm kind of feeling the vibes in here, loves. I think the last thing to do is to just pick some lighting. I'm going to go for quite old fashioned lighting in here, I think. So I'm thinking about actually using those um, base game ones. These ones here. Or oh, is that a little bit too old for in here? Might be a little bit too old in here. So I'm going to use these awful base game ones um, that just make the place look a little worse lit as well, which I'm kind of vibing with, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I can definitely see some students living in this house. Definitely see some students living in this house. Okay, well, we're kind of done. We are kind of done, my loves. As I said, I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'm going to be back tomorrow and I think what we're going to do is do the bedrooms. Do the bedrooms and I'll probably just furnish the hallway and the bathroom off of camera. Um, so this will be the last part of this tomorrow. So I want some wonderful storylines coming in about these three uni mates from you guys. What do you see there? How do you see their characters developing? That's what I would like to know. I would really like to know that. Yes, I would. And after we've done this, next week we are on the final lot for the Spice District. We are coming over here. We're doing a kind of three-in-one community lot over here. Um, and I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun to do that one. I really can't. Let's leave on the shot of the newbie, shall we? Um, but yeah, thank you so much, my loves. As always, you are absolutely amazing. I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight if you want to come and join me. I'm going to be doing a little bit of Cass Creator Sim CC shopping. If you want to come and join us. For a couple of hours while we have a little rifle through and then we'll go and test them out in the game. 7pm GMT. But if not, I'll be back tomorrow with the last part of this. Goodbye.